Hello, in this video I will show you how you can resize a bangle. So if I go to front, let me just create one bangle. I will go to ellipse, F4, to start from the center, I'll do something like this and like this. And now I will add here, just let me think what I can do. Uh, I will select the profile placer and from the profile placer, I will just move this. Clicking on shift to keep it straight, I will change profile placer. And from here, what I will also do is just move it like this to 0.4, and now I will activate Auto Sweep. Now, I will do the same, so I can do Ctrl C, Ctrl V. So now you'll see that I have two profile placers, but now in the second one, what I will do is just edit, and I will make it smaller from in width, and I will drop it just like this. And now what I will do is just do a Boolean difference. So I will go to Solid, Boolean difference, between this part and this part all right now what I will do is just extract an ISO curve and I will go to 0.5 and now I will do the Jameson curve I will make something bigger and I will go to table and now I will start to do the cutters, so I will select. Of course, that if you want, if you don't want all the way around, what you can do is go to edit and say just from 0.5 to 0.75. No, so it will be from here. So it will be from 0.25 to 0.75. So now we have just one half. And now with these gems, what I will do is I will create a cutter, a channel cutter. As you can see, I can see the line here. This can bring us some problems with the boolean. So what I will do is just go to the wireframe and from front, what I will do is just select this and I will move it higher because I want some thickness. And now gem cutters. And with these gem cutters, what I will do is just bring them down. And the last thing left is just select from settings the prong placer. So now I get prongs. I will probably just change bring them a bit higher from here. And like this. And now the only thing that I need to do, probably something that will be nice is if I go to the channel cutter and I use the flat and I do like this. Okay, now let's do first the boolean difference between this and this and now again the boolean difference between this and this. So now we have the stones, we have the prongs and now we can start to play with it. As you can see the prongs are not touching the stones because these stones are quite big so what I can do is go to the prong placer and change the diameter, so the diameter here is 0.5, I can go to 0.7, now it's matching, then to say that if you want smaller stones, you just need to go to the Jameson curve edit and make them smaller, so I can go to the size list, and if I want them or even bigger, so if I want now 2.5, I go to 2.5, and everything recalculates, the channel cutter, the cutters, everything so everything modifies accordingly even the booleans are done and now something that is also very important is that i can select let me start a new one so i will start with bangle bangle sample e now what i will do is just select this save it and now i will select the curve and with the alt what I will do, sorry, with the shift what I will do is just make it smaller okay so I click shift the scale and I'm scaling just this curve but because everything is related to this curve everything is recalculating so the profile placer was related to the curve the profile placer to hollow the bangle was also related to the to the to the main curve and everything else was related to the surface that we built with this profile placer this is why all the steps are being recalculated. Right, so now we have a smaller, um, a smaller bangle. And we can keep making changes. If we want now gems all the way around, I just need to get the gems on curve 
and what I can say is I want it from 0 to 1 and enter. Now we need to wait, but it will apply the changes all the way around. Okay, again, if I want to make it bigger, I just select the curve, front, scale shift, we'll make it bigger. And now as you can see the mouse pointer is spinning. This means that it's recalculating everything and in just a few seconds you get a new size. Okay, so now I can import this one. It's also importing the parametric history. And there we go. I just move it. This is why I broke the history, but we have two different sizes. Alright, so this is how you can resize a bangle, even if you have many operations and you can keep the parametric history. So I hope you like it. Thanks for watching.